During my last shipboard episode, I mentioned that our ship was underway to Brazil to load our cargo. We were headed to the port of Vila do Conde, which is in the northern part of Brazil, to load around 70,000 tons of corn. Unfortunately, we were very busy at the time with the operation and maintenance, so I decided to take a break from shooting videos and focus on work. Anyway, we eventually caught up with everything we had to do and life on board became a bit more relaxed. Well, as relaxed as shipboard life can be. So fast forward about a month later, our ship is now headed to our discharging port in Tarragona, Spain. On board a ship, you never really run out of things to do. Regular maintenance tasks will always be due, and occasionally, some piece of machinery will malfunction or get damaged, which will require the crew to put in some time to fix. Whenever the ship arrives in port, there are always mixed feelings of excitement and sometimes anxiety. Excitement because the crew can buy a local SIM card and get better internet connection, or maybe if shore leave is allowed, they can get off the ship and have a tour around town, do some shopping, and eat some local food. Anxiety on the other hand because of port state control inspection, and if the ship is scheduled for a long port stay, heavy maintenance is usually carried out. Luckily for us, our ship just recently came out of dry dock. So most of the heavy stuff has already been done and only a few minor ones and the regular maintenance were left. One of the things we did was to dispose our waste oil and sludge. Whenever ships call on European ports, the port state control sometimes requires them to dispose waste oil to the port's reception facilities. In our case, a sludge barge came alongside. So we connected our hose to the Marpole line and started pumping. Discharging oily substances to the sea is absolutely prohibited under the Marpole Convention. Waste oil is a byproduct of the ship's oil purification system, and the usual means of disposing it is by burning through the incinerator when the ship is in the open sea. But sometimes, especially if the ship is engaged in short voyages only, there won't be enough time to burn the accumulated waste oil. So that's where the disposal facilities in port come in. So the ship's crew will have one less thing to worry about. One other job we did was a little troubleshooting on the main engine. A few days after leaving port, I noticed that the main engine's fuel consumption was a little bit higher than usual. So I had a look around the usual causes, but didn't find anything. The main engine's fuel oil leak alarm has not been triggered either, so I wondered where the fuel was going. Eventually, I noticed that the fuel oil overflow tank level has been increasing daily. Normally, it shouldn't. So we had a look inside and found fuel oil steadily flowing from one of the drain pipes. We followed it to the source and found it was coming from the main engine fuel oil injection pump leak line. Normally, it should trigger an alarm, but for some reason, the float switch that triggers it was located at a higher elevation than the drain pipe so it actually bypasses the alarm. So from then, it was only a matter of looking for the specific fuel injection pump where the leak was coming from 
and once we found it, the solution was simply to pull out the top cover and replace the seal rings with new spares once the ship arrives in port. Well, it sounds simple, but as with all shipboard work, nothing is really simple. After disconnecting the high pressure pipes, we had to loosen the nuts that hold the top cover in place. These injection pumps can push the fuel oil to reach pressures of around 250 to 300 bar, which is why hydraulic nuts are used to tighten them up. Next is to pull the top cover out using a combination of the overhead crane and the chain block. Initially, you'll need to use the chain block to slowly ease the top cover out. Then as soon as it is free from the barrel, the crane can lift it away and put it on the ground. As expected, we found some damage on the seal ring, which was the main cause of the leakage. After removing the damaged seal rings and replacing them with new spares, all we had to do was to put everything back in place.
I wasn't able to shoot the rest of the procedure as I was needed to do something else at the time. But I think you get the basic idea. In this port, we were also boarded by the port state control. After they went around the ship, they had a few minor observations which they told us to immediately fix. And after we did, everything was cleared and we were given zero deficiencies on the inspection report. Our ship was scheduled to stay in port for a whole week. We managed to complete all our priority jobs during the first few days. So the rest of the port stay was smooth from this point forward. So maybe, if we are lucky, we might be allowed to go ashore and get a tour of the historical sites around the city of Tarragona. <laughs>